Fallout 4 is full of Easter eggs and references that you might not have known about. I'm going to show you where you can find some super interesting ones and what they're specifically referencing. If you like Fallout or RPGs, then make sure you subscribe, because I'll have a new video posted every other day. And if you liked the video, I'd be forever in your debt. Thank you. Also, follow me on Twitter with the link below for Fallout memes and stuff. Have you ever run into a flux sensor on your travels in the Commonwealth? If not, then you need to visit Scribe Halen and accept a quartermaster request for a chance of the junk item to spawn in. Once you have the item, then just turn that bad boy around and you'll find some interesting numbers. The text reads Flux Sensor CM88B 18092460. This label is a reference to the movie Alien and its central spaceship, the USCSS Nostromo. In the movie, CM88B is the model of the ship and 18092460 is its registration number. Did you know that there are five Pip-Boy games found within Fallout 4 and they all reference real life versions of themselves? You can find each of these games scattered throughout the wasteland or accessed in the hidden room with the console command sheets. The first game, The Red Menace, is definitely a reference to the old Donkey Kong games. Atomic Command is obviously Missile Command. Pitfall is of course Pitfall. Zeta Invaders is Space Invaders. And last but not least, Grognak and the Ruby Ruins is a reference to either Bard's Tale or even Ultima. The games are all pretty well made and fleshed out. Grognak, for example, is a full-fledged old-school RPG that uses a party system, dungeons, and an overworld map. In Backstreet Apparel, there's a hidden reference to the movie Ted created by Seth MacFarlane. Inside one of the nearby bathrooms, you'll find a teddy bear toy wearing glasses sitting on a toilet. This is a direct nod to the scene in the movie where Ted, the talking bear, does the exact same thing. You can collect both the teddy bear and the paper he's reading to add to your inventory. Then head back home to that collector settlement you've been building and add a nice new piece. If you visit Diamond City on December 25th, you'll find the town adorned with Christmas trees and lights. These decorations remain until New Year's Eve, adding a festive touch to the city and suggesting that the residents still celebrate pre-war holidays. Similarly, visiting Diamond City on Halloween reveals the city decorated with Halloween themed items. I ran into Diamond City making a video a few weeks ago and found the Halloween decorated town. It was the first time I experienced this and I had no clues in the game, even after the thousands of hours I put in. Everyone knows about Codsworth calling you funny names, but do you know just how extensive it goes? Let me demonstrate. Mr. Bond, Mr. Cancer, Mr. Chuck, Mr. Electra, Mr. Heisenberg. You're goddamn right. Mr. Hellcat, Mr. Hero, Mr. Joker, Mr. Phasma, Mr. Scorpion, Mr. Sherlock, Mr. Starbuck. Mr. Wigglesworth, Mr. Assface, Mr. Bacon, Mr. Badass, Mr. Cock, Mr. Django, Mr. Erectus, Mr. Fuck, Mr. Fucker, Mr. Fuckface, Mr. Katniss, Mr. Marky Poo, Mr. Boobies, Mr. Titties, Mr. Wanderer, and so, so much more. Half of these names are Easter eggs within themselves. There's a hidden reference to Star Wars in an army magazine called the Covert Operations Manual. This can be found in the Federal Surveillance Center K-21B underneath an abandoned shack that's located right here. Readers familiar with Star Wars might quickly recognize the reference to Obi-Wan Kenobi's quote from A New Hope. In the movie, Obi-Wan uses a mind trick on the stormtrooper saying, these are not the droids you're looking for. This easter egg might go unnoticed by many players, but it's a fun nod to Star Wars. It's interesting to see that even in the Fallout universe, the military might be drawing inspiration from a Jedi Master, despite the tragic outcomes of the wars in both fictional universes. Have you seen this painting? But have you really seen it? Up close. You can find it here at the Dugout Inn in Diamond City. You might stumble upon this painting featuring a familiar face, Todd Howard. While at first glance, the painting may appear to depict Napoleon, closer inspection reveals that it's actually Todd Howard, the executive director at Bethesda. Howard has been instrumental in the development of every Fallout game created by Bethesda. It's pretty cool finding old God Howard in the game. Just make sure you put up a shrine for him. Dear Lord and Savior God Howard, 
Give us Fallout 3 Remaster. Our last Easter egg to go over is a big one with lots and lots of references. All we need to do to begin is head on over to Takahashi's Noodle Stand, which in itself is of course a reference to Blade Runner. Honestly, it's quite easy to see that most of the game took a lot of inspiration from the Blade Runner universe, but there are specific locations that directly take from the movie. Like I said, the first is Takahashi's Noodle Stand in Diamond City. It's a reference to the noodle bar Deckard eats at at the beginning of Blade Runner. Takahashi even uses the same greeting as the man in the movie. Covenant's safe test is a reference to not only Fallout 3's goat test, but it's also a reference to the Voight-Kampf test used in Blade Runner to distinguish humans from replicants. The Courser uniform looks a lot like Roy Batty's jacket. Like a Courser, Roy Batty is a military model replicant with enhanced combat abilities. Tyrell is the CEO of the corporation which makes replicants in the movie. Roy Batty calls Tyrell father in their climatic confrontation, which is likely the inspiration for Synth's calling Sean father in the Institute. On the roof of the mass fusion containment shed, there's a kneeling Synth next to a human body, reenacting the final conversation between Batty and Deckard. And there's still a whole lot more to be found. Have you guys run into any Easter eggs in the game? Let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll feature them in a future video with your comment attached. Like I said before, make sure you like and subscribe, I'd super appreciate it. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter with the link below. Come say hi. Thank you guys for watching, have a great week, I'll see you in the next.